Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by implementing simple tips and proven strategies. So now today is going to be a video about why kissing, yes, kissing your spouse has many benefits and we're going to talk about what those benefits are right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So I have been talking a little bit more about physical touch within the relationship because it, it is very important. And I want to just tell you guys about a lot of the benefits that come from physical touch within your relationship. This is the second type of video I talk about. I talked about hugging um, not too long ago. My, maybe it's been maybe about a week or two. But in any event... I will definitely link that video up there about hugging. Today we were going to be discussing kissing and uh, within the next week or so I'll discuss holding hands. All right, so let's talk about the benefits of kissing your partner, your spouse. All right, I talked about this first one in my last hugging video, which is it releases stress. Specifically, the oxytocin is released and it is helping you to calm down. It's helping you to stay calm, right? So it is relieving your stress by simply kissing, again, physical touch, specifically this time kissing, kissing your partner, kissing your spouse. Again, hugs do the exact same thing. It just relaxes you. The second thing that it does, it actually builds immunity. That one I found to be really, really, really um, enlightening, actually, because I never thought about kissing, building immunity. But I get it in the sense of, you know, it's helping you to fight off different germs that you won't come into contact with if you were not kissing your spouse. So I get that part of it. It's just something that never popped in my brain. Like, oh, let me kiss my boo so I can build my immunity. Okay. But it does help with that. So just keep that in mind. Okay. The third thing that kissing your spouse does for you and even for your spouse is that it helps to build your self-esteem because I not only think that I should be kissed. Somebody else believes that I should be kissed too, helping to boost your self-confidence, okay? <laughs> the fourth thing that kissing does, which I found to be very interesting as well, is that it helps to counteract the aging process by doing a simple few things. Okay, so with you puckering up your lips, it actually helps to tone your facial muscles, okay? Because you are, you are also plumping up your lips and it helps to bring that rosier look within your cheeks, making you have that appearance of a healthier look. So pucker up, baby, pucker up. <laughs> Number five, kissing your spouse and just kissing in general. But specifically here, kissing your spouse can actually help you burn some calories. Now, you're not going to be able to not go to the gym or not to work out because the calories are small, but it still burns calories. The calorie number, just in case for those of you guys who need numbers, is in between 8 and 16 calories, depending on how deep and passionate that kiss actually is. So get to kissing, burn some calories, honey. Yes! The sixth thing that kissing your spouse does, it actually helps you keep you focused and re-centered back on the relationship. Even if it's for a small moment because you have to focus on your partner, inadvertently focusing in on the relationship. But it helps you to get re-centered because you do have to do that focusing. If you don't focus, y'all, y'all lips don't meet up. Or maybe you kiss the nose because you're not paying attention to what you're doing. It helps you focus on the relationship and, of course, helps you focus on the person, at least for a short period of time. That they get your undivided attention. And we need to do that more and more and more because so many things are pulling at our attention and taking us away from our relationships. 
kissing, specifically when you are arguing or during the course of an argument. Yes, I know that you're like kissing. Why would I want to kiss? I'm actually pissed off. I ain't trying to touch them. But kissing during the course of an argument, during the course of an issue, can actually, again, help you recenter and refocus. And it helps you to come to a solution without all of the animosity or you being ignorant because sometimes we can be ignorant okay without you being ignorant toward your spouse without you being disrespectful toward your spouse toward your partner in the middle of it let's take a break give each other a kiss go off and do x y and z okay we said we're going to talk about it tomorrow tomorrow comes you actually talk about it and there's where the solution, because you know what? You had time to think. You had time to clear your head. You had time to get rid of all of that pissivity. Yes, honey. You're not pissed no more. So all of those feelings have now simmered down. And you can come to a solution. But a lot faster. The eighth thing that kissing your spouse does, it actually keeps the romance alive so you don't feel like you are living with a roommate, a business partner. Yes, because y'all taking care of the business of things within the house so the household can be ran. But y'all not taking in the business of making sure that the relationship is still continuously growing so y'all staying connected. So make sure y'all still kissing. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Yes, kiss. The final thing that kissing your spouse does, it actually brings security to your relationship. And especially if y'all have children around, this will, you know, resonate with you parents out there, which is when your kids, even though they say that they don't like it, but especially the small kids, whatever, when your children, kids see you to kiss that actually brings them a sense of security as well. Even if they're saying, ew, 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 no, ew, ew. It brings them a sense of security. It also shows them subconsciously that, okay, I should be kissing my spouse when I get a spouse, right? I should make sure that I kiss my spouse. It's bringing security not only to mom and dad's relationship, it's bringing security to me. Again, all of this is subconscious. The children are not thinking about this specifically, but it's there. And actually, research shows that when they are in a healthy household, i.e. around the parents, and it's all healthy, that they do better in school as well. So go out there, kiss your spouse, kiss your spouse in front of your kids. Of course, you don't want to make it sloppy in the bedroom type of kissing. But kiss your spouse in front of your children, in front of your child, so they can have that sense of security themselves. All right, fam. So when is the last time that you kiss your spouse? A deep kiss, a passionate kiss. When is the last time that that has occurred? Okay, right. You're still thinking about it. That means you need to make sure that you do it within the next night, two nights, this week for sure. Get that kiss in there, that deep kiss, that passionate kiss, so you do not feel like you are living with your roommate. Because you don't want to do that. You don't want it to turn into a business relationship. You want the type of relationship, again, you are creating. Create the type of relationship that you want. If you want to keep the passion, if you want to keep the romance, you want to keep your partner only having eyes for you, you have to do something about it each and every day. And I get it. Sometimes you're not going to do it. Sometimes you're going to fall. Things are going to fall by the wayside. You're tired. Life gets in the way. Children are there. You got to clean up the house. All these other things. But stop making excuses. Leave those dishes. Leave those dishes in the sink. Another night. Leave that laundry piled up. Another night. Make some time for you and your spouse so y'all can connect again and not just to procreate. I mean to really connect so you two can have the type of relationship that you two want, not just to bring life into the world. Don't let things get so stale that all of a sudden you're thinking, you know what? 
ah, something ain't right here. And I, you know what? Stacy been looking at me and she been giving me the eye. And you know what? She was talking about bringing me food the other day. Don't let somebody else creep into your relationship. Because really, you're the one who's allowing the other person to creep into your relationship because you're allowing them the chance, the opportunity because you're not taking care of things at the household or you think that it's on your spouse to do everything, even to make sure that the relationship is thriving and y'all staying connected. But what about you? What are you doing to make sure that the relationship is thriving and staying connected? Sometimes it is going to be a one way, one way street within the relationship because life does get in the way and maybe you're preoccupied and something, something is occurring. You know, maybe you're working on a project, maybe something is happening with your parents or, you know, familiar issues or whatever. So you're preoccupied. I get that life is going to get in the way, but overall you still have to come back and connect with your spouse. Because if you're not going to connect with them, we all human. And they will find a way to connect with somebody else. Even if it doesn't go down the path of sexual right away, at some point it will. Because that's the way that it occurs. We all want to feel connected and we all want to belong. And if I, if I can't belong to you, the person that I am in love with, the person that I want to get all of these butterfly feelings from. Somebody going to give it to me. That's just the reality of the world that we live in because we're not meant to be alone. And if I'm feeling like I'm, I am alone in this relationship, that's an issue too. So now what are you going to do about it? 